Hi you guys, I am here in Kusak Preserve. This is the house. Kind of a quiet through street here. Back of the neighborhood. They're gonna have the yard mowed. Pretty close to your neighbors. But we knew that. House smells super clean and new. Um, looks very clean. So when you first come in, you have kind of this little entryway. You can put some cute little table decor, something right here. And then your formal dining room is immediately on your left. And this is a good big space. Very big. Bright, clean. Going in towards the back. We look towards the left. Oh, I don't know how I just turn it on. We have a power room. And then the door to the garage is here. Great two-car garage, a little extra space on both sides. Hurricane shutters. Panels, I should say. A huge storage closet right here off the kitchen. So there's not really a coat closet, but you could utilize this as a coat closet if you put a bar up if you wanted one. And then this space is huge. To me, this looks bigger than in real life than it did in the photos, which is very unusual, but this is an enormous space. And then you have the three windows right there to brighten it up a little bit, but that's, it's, it's big. And the kitchen is big too. All of it actually to me looks bigger in real life than it did. I don't know how to use these, these like specialty, there we go. Anyway. Okay, so you have like kitchen table space right here, which of course, if you didn't want a kitchen table, you could take that out. It kind of impedes the flow a little bit, um, but it's, a, it's big. It's a very big space. You need a fridge. Corner pantry. And there's nothing you'd have to do to this. These are kind of like a creamy color cabinet, not white, just a little off-white biscuit color um, backsplash. And then, yeah, it's not very private. And unfortunately, it looks like the neighbor sits up on a little bit of a hill. So even if you put in a fence, I mean, you're still gonna have a view of another house. You can see right here in the corner is a little drain um, to get rid of all the water, which is nice. And the yard does slope down to that. So you shouldn't have standing water issues here. Um, this is kind of a nice little, they've got the, the little lights and I can see they have a termite bait station. So big screen porch, vaulted ceiling in the screen porch. So, I mean, it's not a bad size yard. Um, it's actually a decent size yard, but because that house, it's not a huge hill, as you can see, it's just a small hill, but yeah, they're gonna be up a little bit higher than you. Okay, let's go upstairs. Carpet's not perfect. Carpet is a very high traffic thing on stairs, so it doesn't look amazing. But it's not terrible. I mean, I would definitely want it cleaned. I would ask for that in the contract, actually. You can see it's kind of, oh, it might have already been cleaned. It doesn't look like it. So, big loft. Linen closet here. So there's a big long hallway off the loft good size bedroom i mean it's probably not i mean it's probably just 
I don't know, I'd say 12 by 10 maybe. Walk-in closet. Master. Similar size here. God, huge closet. This house has a lot of storage. So, master, I can't tell if it has a light fixture. This is a huge bedroom and an enormous closet. Where's the light? Oh, here it is. So, you have that side. view. Raised vanity height, tile shower, tile surround for the tub. I like this tile, it's really pretty. Toilet there. It's very bright in there. This is just a huge bedroom. Really nice. So if we go to the other end of the hall, back to the loft, we have hall bathroom here, which is really a good size. It's only a single vanity. You could always add one there. Same tile. You have a good size laundry room here. Same tile again. And then bedroom number four and walk-in closet number four with a window. And the closet space is excellent. These rooms, uh, I'm gonna measure them when I stop videoing, just so you know, but they're not, I mean, they're a good size. They're not enormous. They're fairly normal for a house this size. So there you go.